Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Donny Boy 73 the Small Engine Doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to remove stubborn blade adapters on lawnmowers. I've had a lot of questions over the last months on how to do this, so today's the day where you're going to see that. Here's a couple lawnmowers I'm stripping for parts and I do salvage the blade adapters because they can be quite expensive if you need one. Now I've already removed the blade off of this one. If you're fortunate, you're going to be able to pull off the blade adapter by hand, but in this case, it's jammed onto the shaft. So what I do is I grab a smaller bolt than the diameter of the threads inside. It's just going to go down there and sit there. It's not going to screw into anything. I leave it there like that. And I'll use one of these two jaw pullers here. Usually when I think that the adapter is stuck on there pretty tight, I will use the more robust one here. And that's the one I'm going to be using today. Now what you want to do is slide the puller over like this. You may have to unscrew the center bolt. What you want are the two jaws to grab underneath the blade adapter here like this. Also make sure that the center bolt is nice and even on the smaller bolt we put into here. And now tighten it, make sure this all stays nice and straight. And hold the two jaws like this. Now with the wrench I'm going to turn the center bolt and hold the two jaws. And you can see the adapter coming up. I'm going to loosen the puller off, take this off, and I'll pull the adapter off. And we still have a perfectly good blade adapter that I can use on another lawnmower. Always save these when you take them off your lawnmowers or if you're going to scrap a lawnmower because these can cost up to $20 or more. And I'm going to show you how to remove the adapter from this Honda engine here. Now you want to do the same thing with this one. Grab the bottom part of the adapter. Make sure you have a loose bolt in there that's a bit longer above the adapter. And then center everything together like that and I'll tighten the center bolt. And make sure to hold the jaws as well. And now you should see the adapter start going up. Now I've just reinserted a longer bolt because when the adapter was coming up it was tightening up against it. And now it's coming off. And here's another perfectly good blade adapter for Honda engine. I'm going to save this as well. So it's pretty easy to do. If you follow these instructions you should not have a problem to remove some blade adapters. Sometimes though I do have to heat them with a very hot flame. And I've even seen some where I had to break them off because they were just fused onto the shaft and they would not come off even if I heated it or used the puller. But in most cases, if you use this method, it will work for you. You may want to wear gloves and use some safety glasses if you prefer and buy yourself one of the pullers that I showed you in this video. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.